So my bonus commissioned me to make cookies for a friend who's getting married and she's asked for eggless chocolate chip cookies that are dyed red in the shape of hearts. And I was like, that's cute, that's adorable, but let's step that up. Let's level up this dessert. Let's make them with a strawberry cream cheese filling. And she was like, absolutely not. I know what they want, I know what I want, and it's just plain chocolate chip cookies. And I was like, respectfully, no customer has ever known what they want. Just trust me on this. And she was like, no. <laughs> and then I kept asking and I kept asking and I kept asking. And eventually she was like, fine, just do whatever you want. So join me on this journey of making eggless chocolate chip cookies that are dyed red and heart-shaped and have a strawberry cream cheese filling. So the cream cheese is a egg substitute. But why does it taste so delicious? Like it tastes like creamy. I don't know, it's cookies. Cookies taste good. Mm -hmm. But we only use literally a tablespoon. So I was like, that's why I wanted to do this filling to be cream cheese and strawberry flavored. Also, I have this leftover from the horrible cheesecake incident that we don't talk about. So my mother told everyone about it. Oh, rude. All right, here's the dough. It looks kind of, it doesn't look that red on camera, but I swear it's red in real life. And it'll look better when it's baked. I need us chill it. There's no room in the fridge. Ugh. The filling is literally just going to be cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla. It's super simple. We have decided to add a little bit of honey as well. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's a lot. It'll be fine. That's a good amount, I think. Okay, so the initial plan was to like roll out the dough and then like cut two hearts out, put the fillings on the inside between those two and press them together. But I feel like that's gonna be hard to do with the size of cookie that we're making. So I'm gonna try and oh my god, I should not have put cookie chocolate chips in the cookie dough because that's it's making it hard to roll out. Okay, so I don't know how much filling, but how much of the strawberry thing is that enough? More? Is that too much? Okay, let's roll it up and then try and form it into heart. Oh no, that's too much. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Not that much. Maybe I should freeze these. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of abandoned the heart shaped plan, but that's okay. We weren't married to it. We have pivoted, and instead, they are vaguely circular. I know there's like a hack online that I've seen where like you take a circular cookie cutter and like while they're still warm you do this and it makes them circles but I don't like them looking like perfect circles. Um, anyway, this is just white candy melts in a piping bag and I'm making hearts. It's pretty simple. I think I'm gonna put their initials on one or two of them. It's gonna be cute. I think. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. My niece is watching cartoons in the background. Okay, it is time for the taste test the moment you guys have been waiting for. This is the smallest and ugliest of them all, so it shall be sacrificed. Should I have cut this instead? Ooh. Yum. Yum. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, this is really good. It's a good balance of like tart and sweet. Super creamy, I love it. And chocolate chip cookie is a 10 out of 10 as always thank you that was my niece screaming in the background this is great they're gonna love it mm, so good we tried having both initials on the hearts and Mahnoor didn't like those she preferred the single initials so we went with six f's and six m's and that is the final cookie pretty cute